All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Young Neezy back at it again with a reaction to the Trump Doral shooter, Adi. Shouts out to him. I am muting the intro because it was fucking up with the microphone and all this shit, whatever. So this is what went down, apparently. I got the old smoke pipe shirt on, like limited. The yellow, this, this is not even available anymore. Got some flannel on top of that. Although it's getting a little bit hot. So while we take this off. Don't forget to sign up for the email list. For the 420 draw for the smoke pipes. And um, while we watch this and react to this video. We are going to. Smoke out of some tree. Some THCA that can be shipped directly to your door. Just go to the website smoke.co. Get all the tree you want, use a credit card, rack up the credit card points, ship it, let's go. Sign up for the email list. Now let's get into the reaction. Let me clear my um, memory real quick. And then we're going in. Can I say it? Yeah. Just my dog bubbles. Yeah. These and Ross, which they good boys, okay? Mm -hmm. They 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 okay. Ooh. Both Teddy and Ross and Chad, they're all gay. Okay? DJ Chad and Rick Ross yeah. and DJ, yeah. they're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Chad right. is a Hamas supporter. Okay. Who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, say the wrong. No, 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 no. Hamas support. Sorry. Okay. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots. Oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's in uh, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The boule is the boule's a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. Y'all hear this? It's the black people. Okay. Y'all wow. hear this? The boule. The black Illuminati. Just a branch of a bigger tree. Let's get it. Let's keep going here. I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay, okay you're my brother, so I like black people. And shout out to all my Africans out here. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a by an African woman in my house okay? okay she was just a servant but she was my my she, you know took care of me. right so i love that people okay. okay um i had settlement with sean okay he's all trump okay because he used to belong to their side you understand he used to belong to that illuminated group that i told you about which is an elite group okay of individuals which run the whole country all right all right um basically what i did did you talk how i did you explain about the message or oh, please, please, please. Right. on thursday turning to friday basically i went to the hospital i went through the the gates i took a the, no sorry jumped the fence and i took that mega fan from the front desk and i blew the shot here i basically what i did that for is she transmitted a statement to the American people and to Donald Trump that we're not accepting any more corruption and abuse from their system of friends. Okay. okay. Donald's still blind because he thinks that he had he let Hillary off the hook and she's okay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying, okay. Keep going. Um it ain't like that. The CIA and then they want to do the same thing that they did JFK. Okay. okay. All right. Why? Because they want the United States to fall. They, they've already been creating a state of chaos and confusion, right? They want the United States to fall. Not going to happen. Fall. Don was against their agenda and won the presidency. Okay. He did get help from Russia. He did get help from the stories. He also got help from a lot of Republicans mm -hmm. in here, which is the, the electoral college vote. And he got a lot of support from Republican people. Okay. okay. Um, the elections, yeah, they were bare, but he wanted the electrical college votes. 
Right, right. Which is the Republican vote, basically, according to it, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't get the, the popular, popular vote, right, okay? Right, I hear you. So basically, the interior, he got, he made, he's president-elect by the electoral college. So he made it. The situation is that he still hasn't kicked out the corruption from the system. He's letting them stay due to, uh, due to money, basically. Because they all like making money. That's why they're all billionaires, etc. So there's only a few, there's select few of that run the country, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, so, if you, I know you may or may not, I know you're going to believe me. Um, you have what's called the Illuminati. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we know all about that here at the Smoke Nation. Illuminati. Okay. They've made it in dance. Basically, what it means, illuminated. I guess. Okay. Um, they do satanic ritual abuse, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques mm -hmm. to their own family, kids. Uh, etc. on the crew, and they bond that way, okay? So they do uh, sexual pedophilia, they do animal abuse, killing of animals, blood sacrifices, and everything in the Bohemian Grove, okay? The Bohemian Grove, okay. the bush would go there. Um, George C. and George, both of them are in the same agenda. Um, they caught they caught us with the Clintons, okay? So is Donald Trump. He's also a distant cousin. So if you see, there's a direct correlation of the presence of the United States being bonded to family ties, okay? Exactly. All these family ties, while not go back to the same place, the royal family in England, okay? The, the family here of the Illuminati are descendants of the royal British family, okay? They have children to themselves. Why? Because it's, they, and they have an issue, you understand? They want like superiority of the race. Mm -hmm. They see it that way. But it really is, it backfires them because it makes them simple-minded. You understand? When you, when you have sex with someone in your family, your kids are not going to come out small. You understand? They're going to come out dumb. All right? So, Donald turned his back, but he's still trying to negotiate a peaceful way out, and they have an agenda to kill him. Okay? Example, if you look at the Illuminati card games, example, okay? You look at the, the, the game, the Illuminati card game. I'm not familiar with it, so help me understand. It's a card game. It's a card game. That tells exactly what their agenda is. Gotcha. It's called mental pre program. That means that you pre Predictive programming for all those who know what we're talking about. Pre dispose already once you play this, even your mind. So you pre dispose that this happening mm -hmm. and you accepting it. Okay, so they have a picture of Donald dead in that game. Oh, okay. all right. I'm not crazy. They have a picture of Donald dead. <laughs> but they also had Twin Towers. They had everything on there. Gotcha. Okay, from A to Z. So it's kind of like a hidden agenda, which they try to make it open to our eyes, but we can we really don't see it. We're so busy working. It's kind of like... Oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's in that. I think I see what you're saying. Okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I think we all know him. He did what we call himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The Boule is, the Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. Well, and shout out to all my Africans out here, too. You, you smoke nation, too. My mom, I was raised by a, by an African woman in my house, okay? okay. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. You know, took care of me. Right. So I love black people, okay? okay? Um, I settled with Sean, okay? 
and he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous in that over contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five. Okay. When I'm, I take charge of the threat of death on me, okay? I don't have it, but I can make it available <laughs> under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting prayed for anything, okay? <laughs> um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff. And I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Yeah, let me move my, my camera out the way so, uh, so y'all could see what this says up here. I'll just go up here for a minute. There you go. Um, I caught herpes and I came back and I seen for the herpes and won. But they didn't did Mark Eros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon's here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Yeah, it's true. It's possible, I'm not sure. Now, um, how does this lead towards Donald Trump? Okay. The Mercedes family, uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garibas. Mark Garibas used to be Michael Jackson's attorney. Yeah, in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he had a, what is he? yeah, he dropped Michael and they all did him, okay? <laughs> Idiot overdose. They OD'd him because they keep the royalties. Yeah, of course they OD'd him, like they do everyone else. We all know how this goes down in Hollywood. Smash like. Of the music, Michael alone made eight hundred sixty million dollars alone last year. Okay, in yeah. twenty seventeen, which who keeps that royalty? The music companies. Who represents the media and the in the United States? Most of them, Mercedes does. Kenny Mercedes, which is Groomer Mercedes Shire out, out of New York. <laughs> okay. okay. So what they've been doing is they've been promoting a hate agenda against Trump. So people hate him. Okay, because they know he is very alpha. Okay, very alpha in the sense that. He likes money, he likes to make money, and he likes women, and they know they want to fail in certain ways with Stormy, with other people, because they want him out of the government, okay? But it ain't happening because it's too smart for them. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to, right? Don is intelligent. He's, we have a similar type of intelligence and overview of things. The only thing is, he's not seeing that Hillary, the distant cousin of his, and Obama have a different plan for him. Do you understand? No offense with Obama. I love each and every American, but he was part of that 9 11 agenda. He's a. Yo. Y'all know how we feel about Obama over here, all right? Boo. We don't, we don't F with you either, Obama. CIA agent, the next CIA. Y'all hear that? We knew that from the start. Tim Osman is his name. And he's from Kenya. Agent. That's why there's so much identity issues with Obama. Who knows his real name? Because he's not from the country. Yeah. Because he's not from the country. He was born in uh, Indonesia and he's also born in Hawaii. Nobody knows why. Because he's an ex CIA agent. Okay. Basically, Osama bin Laden never existed. It was a creation of the CIA and it was a bomb in a cave <clears throat> talking shit. Obama in a cave, y'all. That was him in the Taliban. That was that picture that Q released. That's how this is coming back right now, back to Obama. 
Wow. So Obama is Bin Laden, who was not even a real character. Wow. A scam on top of a scam on top of a scam. And looking like an Arab. And then they bomb Twin Towers. Okay. So my problem is, I'm here to expose each and single one of them to the American public for the crimes committed on September 11th, 2001. And therefore, okay. Now tell, tell me though, uh, how all of that led up to Thursday night, Friday morning. Well, I'll be trying, I'll be trying. My settlement put me in a box. Basically, I couldn't talk because I was going to be sued. So I let it be, but they've been following me, and they've had Mark Carroll has had the FBI on me, and they had other, other agencies looking at me and spying on me, okay, because they want to set me up as an extortionist. That's what they do. That's all they do is just spying, 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 snitching, spying. That's all they are. A bunch of spies and snitches. Watch your back, y'all. Be careful out there. Like if I was doing <clears throat> Sean for money, it's wrong. Basically, what happened is these and Ross, which they good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They, they, they okay. Who? Both. Eddie and Ross and Cat, they all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly. Yo, don't worry about Kevin. They ain't talking about your boy right here, okay? They talking about Khaled. Rick, Ross, yeah. and DJ? Yeah. They all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Cat right. is a Hamas supporter. We got it. Okay. Support? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, say the wrong No, no, no. no Hamas supporter. Okay. Sorry. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian, okay? Um, the, the rock agenda, okay? is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They DJ Khaled is a Palestinian, but he supports Hamas because he's a scammer. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Yeah. Um... The hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Chipak killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your rip sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous. Okay, that's how they do it, all right? Um, Chipak's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's killing Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is far. The hip hop agenda is an agenda to move the drugs law in the United States. Mm -hmm. move, you need to report the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh, by customs, by, by the, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the okay. inside the United States, okay? They, they move what's called high-grade oh, uh, yeah. MDMA. They move cocaine, and they move uh, liquid cocaine mm -hmm. in the bottles, too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles, and they move. I think the liquid cocaine, I'm back at myself. I mean, it's gay and Cassie, okay? It's not good. He drinks it all the time. All right, you call it G G. Let's take a cocaine. All right. Um, how do I know there's a conspiracy against Trump? Because it's in the Illuminati card deck. He should not. He should look at it for himself. But let me let me bring you back to uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. I mean, how did all of this? I think I better understand what you're what you're saying. But what I want to know is how did that prompt you? How did that make you do what you did? Well, we get into a point that his assassination is coming, mm -hmm. okay, because it's an agenda they portray on the media and the news. Example, Madonna is a client of Mercedes, Ben Mercedes. Mm -hmm. He has her go on public TV and say, oh, how she, I have thought so many times of going up and blowing up the White House, okay? They give her that little message. 
That will message Siri's message, okay? Mm. Because Siri sent it to uh, Gary Ross, and Gary Ross gave it to the Sailors. And they give it to you. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I get, I get you're going to need an internet. So I can show you. If I show you the world play, you're just going to go like, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, help me understand you. Um, sure. How old are you? I'm 42. I've been through all my life. Okay. I've had a great life. I've settled five, four point one to five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, but he's scared that I wasn't exposed. I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. I want to talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? I don't, obviously we never met. I know. I don't know you from Adam's cat. I know. I'm trying to, you know, we'll get back, we'll get back to the hey, event. I got, I got, I got like 30 years ago. That's good. Where, where are you from? Where, where, I'm a I was born in South Africa. Where uh, what town? What, what city? Newcastle, the Valley of the Thousand Hills. I'm from Zulu now. I'm what you call a Zulu. Okay. Right. I, was, uh, I was born there. And then my parents were not in descent. From Argentina, they escaped the military dictatorship in Argentina. Pinochet, all that? Uh, no, the Argentina one. Argentina. Yeah, my Pinochet it was a Chile one, but okay. Okay. I can't remember. It was like a military dictatorship. I can't remember okay. the names. All right. All right. Well, uh, how 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 many years did you stay in South Africa? Uh, 12, 13, 12 years in South Africa, and I stayed twelve years in Argentina. And then I came here to the United States, and I've been here twenty years since. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen years. Uh, actually. Yeah. Parents, so you got a mother and father. That they, Dad, they came and visited me, died here. Okay. Of cancer. And mom went back and back at home. I think I'll be visiting with uh, with my sister here. Okay. Uh, what year did your father pass away? Um, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Did that have any effect on you? I mean, what was not really. I'm not a... like with your father. Well. I suffered a little child abuse when I was a kid. Okay. And I believe it's, he's not my real dad, but it's okay, you know? All right. I mean, sometimes, you, you, you know, maybe that's, that's what he thought. Okay, know. all right. And uh, your mother, uh, where, where's your mother right now? She's in Argentina, I think in Argentina, traveling in, in Europe. Okay, and what's your relationship like with her? Distant, but, mm -hmm. okay. but uh, distant, but nice. All right. Well, uh, any brothers, any sisters? Yeah, both. Also, distant, but nice. Okay. They both in, they in Argentina. Well, my brother's in Argentina, my sister's in Europe. Oh, so you don't have... Uh... Can I say it? Yeah. Just my dog, Bubbles. My sister. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, you're not married? You're single? I'm divorced. You're divorced? Yeah. Okay. My wife is tired of trying to wind up, so she's an attorney. She's an attorney? Yeah. Where she live? In Boca Raton. In Boca Raton? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does she know anything about this? Uh, have you talked to anybody? Yeah, she kind of knows. But what happened was they've been tapping me so much on my phone. I just to figure out how they tap their iPhones. Okay. And basically it's gone all the way up. And I've seen him and Hillary, you know, they've been watching me. They've been watching me. Yeah, come, come back to me. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into that in just a minute. Let's just stay with your family members and everything. Sure. I'm just wondering if you if, if you talk to your ex-wife or anybody. Uh, I, talk, I don't know about, about what happened about this. Yeah. Well, no. This was all you need. It was premeditated to give a message to the American public. A wake-up call. It's called a wake-up call. Uh -huh. It's like when somebody rings a bell for Americans to wake up. Americans like you, like me, like all of us here. Uh, you said premeditated, so you thought about this. You thought this through? Yeah. Uh, How I long don't... have you been thinking about it? It's easy. That's like... Uh, help me understand. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't... Well, really? When, I... you, when you say premeditated, you must have been thinking about it for a while. How long have you been thinking about doing what you did? Well, when I say premeditated, it means that I went and did it by myself as all. Well. And I didn't think about it like for uh, a okay. I didn't plan it for Oh, long. okay. When you say premeditated, I thought maybe you planned it out. Like I ran my own personal investigation, which I figured out myself that this is going on, and we still having issues of corruption at the United States and our government. I get that. I get that. Now, when you say you did your own investigation, what did you do? Basically, out of all the times I went and saw the attorneys, did my research online. Mm -hmm. And I found out the whole puzzle of their organization. Okay. All right. Uh, so you didn't tell, well, before I ask that question, so you have an ex-wife, you got a girlfriend, you got, you got anybody that you talk to? I'm trying to understand. I don't talk to somebody that you, you interact with on a daily basis. 
Yes, I have a good friend, a breakfast buddy. His name is Luis David Gonzalez. Uh -huh. And we go to the gym every day. He has nothing to do with what happened Thursday. Though he's a witness, he's been shot by them. And he's a witness that Ross came and threatened me at my house. Post settlement. After we settled, did he think Ross and I asked him to go see that was Ross and confirm that identity? So, so, Gonzalez, uh, he can back up what you're saying about yeah. P, P. Diddy and yeah. Ross and all that? Okay, yeah. all right. Um, and you said uh, Gonzalez didn't know anything about your, what you did? You didn't talk to him before? No. Nothing? Okay. He knows nothing. He knows, he knows actually water about me. He's like, hey, what's up? And I told him, look, man, what's happening is he's trying to pull things down. But then the the feds have been harassing him. The feds. I don't know. What, what was they, they have a big file of me like this. Uh -huh. it's because we did and Mark Garrett was been trying to set me up and lock me up as an extortionist asking for money. It was not so. My settlement was breached and my settlement terms is being one was called peaceful enjoyment. That means that if, if I went to your house or I did something you have to pay me the full amount back and forth. I get all that. So I, I'll be going through that since like twenty twelve. All right, and and Gonzalez knows about that. You talked to him about that kind of stuff. I talked to him alone because he's the only one that knows since the beginning. Okay. And then my ex-wife, she knows she saw the contract. She has a contract, a picture of a contract. Talking to her, you need to call and ask him for a copy of the settlement agreement. Okay. okay, all right. Where where do you live at? Where, where where's your house, sir? Really you close. Have... You know, 177, just on the road from Trump's. You see, I want you to live close to Trump because I know they don't like being close to Trump. Uh -huh. You understand know what I'm saying? They don't like that. So that's all with you, Trump's. Okay, all right. Uh, you got a roommate? Uh, you just live alone? Okay, yeah. all right. Um, how do you get around now? Uh, you got a car? Yeah, a Jeep. Like a, a Jeep. Jeep. It looks like a military Jeep. Okay. Where is that Jeep right now? Police have in custody. Okay, all right. Um, we'll get back to the Jeep in a minute. Um, tell me about your employment. Uh, what, what, what do you do for work right now? Okay, right now, I'm something for I work with minerals and gemstones. Um, we're an old company called Pegasus, Pegasus Mineral Trading. Okay. Uh, now I heard it from my father. Previously, I've been, um, well, before you go any further, uh, do you have like an actual office someplace? Do you work from home? Or? From home. Okay, so you pretty much like online. Yeah, uh, yeah but it's, it's I, I get busy two seasons a year, like really busy. Uh, I get September and February, okay. so it's like fifteen days nonstop each one, and then it's like just fly. Well, where I'm going with that is if uh, you work from home, do you have a computer? Do you no, I, have a telephone? I, I, do, you I, do business. I what I did is I I threw away everything I had. Because oh, well, before you go, what is everything? What, what, what did you, when you say you threw away everything? What's my, that? my documents, everything I had, because I know they've been trying to follow me. And I, I just don't want, I just don't, don't want my personal info getting, you know. I got you know, I, 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 I think I understand, but I mean, what I'm trying to understand is how can you have a business and not have a computer or, or, or work? Because that's what they do. They go through your trash and shit, you know, these spies and these snitches. Boom. Oh, I had it. I just threw them away the, the same day. I threw it all away. You threw what away? Yeah. My computers and everything. Well, where are you throwing away? The garbage. In your garbage? At your... Yeah, because they've been spying at me through <laughs> that. They spy you through your computer, through your iPhone. They spy you through your TV screen, the camera. And even if they are, they manage to it. Right it's called in touch. The CIA is available. can do anything. Uh, uh, let me make sure I understand you now. Now, when you say you throw them away, you throw them into like a dumpster, or did you just throw them away in your trash can and just throw them yeah. away in the dumpster? In my trash can. Okay. Right, exactly. What was it? Just like one computer? No, everything. My documents, the cell we uh, in, my computer, everything. So the TV, everything that they had been surveying me on, I took it off because I wanted them to be in the dark. Okay. Because they've been watching me. So now they kind of freaked out, like I kind of spooked out. But it needed to be done. And Donald needs to do his presidency correct. And he needs to know that these people 
are running him into the ground, running the country into the ground. All right, we're going to come back to that. Uh, I'm not done with that, but I'm, again, I'm trying to help you. <clears throat> I'm trying to understand you, your daily routines, your business, that kind of stuff. Well, it's, um, I'm very different than you. I'm very intelligent. Okay. We all are very intelligent. I the can thing, see that, yeah. The thing is, you've been fed the wrong foods and medicines which blind you, okay? Those, most of the pharmaceutical industry is bogus. I, okay? I, I agree with you, yeah. I can tell you right now. Um, they have you popping pills and they poison you slowly so you die, okay? That's the truth. You don't need any medicine. You're strong. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're, You're strong, Smoke Nation. Smash life for yourself. Body is called the only way to come out now is called immunotherapy. That's all you need. Vitamin is immunotherapy. That's all you need. Alright. Um about my about my work ethics. Okay, previous things that I've worked at. Um in the United States. Well, do you wanna know all of them or oh, as, as much as you can tell me, help me understand uh, you okay. know uh, you, you work you work Pegasus right now, right? But you threw away all your your stuff. Yeah, because it's a family business. Okay. It's, simple. Right. it's just like I just need to use square cash. Go, let's go back. Uh, what did you do before Pegasus? I worked uh, I took a break off doing the settlement, doing my research. Um, I took care of my dad, he had died. Um, before that I did investment real estate investments with section eight properties. But I was started getting rats, so because they threatened to sue me, I sold the properties. Before that, I worked for LG Electronics. I was the top producer, the top, it's the top salesman of TVs in 2012. In the last yeah. um, before that, I worked for a company called MA Labs, Mad Labs, mm -hmm. out of uh, the Rock here in '87. They computer components manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Before that, I worked for uh, s and of America, which is my product out of Idaho. They are uh, semiconductor artificial memory okay. chips, uh, DDR memory, basically. Uh, before that, I worked as a self-employed training electronics South America. Before that, I came here as an internship as an accounting manager for the PR she's working in Kilo, Florida. Okay. All right. So pretty much all those jobs were in South Florida in uh, Miami yeah. area? I always stay in South Florida. Okay. Um, where, where'd you go? You school college? Or you go? I went to University of South Florida, which is the same school as the, the priest, the Pope we have right now. I started traveling to management, uh, business and traveling to management. Okay. And then I got, I went to the uh, private sector. Okay. All right. Here yeah. this, that's what's been brought. Okay. All right. Um, do you have uh, anybody that you can think of uh, that you used to work with uh, that you trust? Uh, anybody, uh, any former coworkers? Uh, anybody um, that you would reach out to if you ever needed help at any of those jobs? No. No. Okay. I'm pretty self confident. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have my hair on my shoulders when I'm doing. Okay, all right. And I mean, I know you all think that this, this is bogus, or you, you may not yet understand, but look, I got three bullet holes. I got two. I, I, didn't, I did this for the country, I, trust me, I feel great. Okay. And I'll do it any day, because at least I avoid a president getting shot, and at least I avoid other dummies trying to fuck up our country, excuse my language. No, 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 you're good, man. And my people, because my Americans are my people. Okay. I have issues with let's go. My people, that's all my people. All right, let's, like tell me, uh, all right, let's, let's go back to uh, Thursday night, uh, Friday morning. Um, before you did what you did, well, what was your, what was your state of mind? I mean, um, it was Cool as us. I went there, I knew what I was doing. It's not like I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing, and my point was I take down a flag and put it in the front desk and call the police, shoot the chandelier to time to stop getting Arabia, Saudi Arabia money. All right. That's all because Obama is behind. So is Hillary, okay? 
So he's got to stop taking a Reagan money because he's letting everything slide. He's letting Obama stand right behind him and so Hillary. He, he knows who they are. Mm -hmm. He knows who they are. So does the CIA. Maybe the Secret Service doesn't because you all work for the president, correct? Right. You only work for the president. There are some other people, but mainly the president, right? Exactly. So the problem is you are his circle, the CIA, and then are a different circle. Well, let me rephrase that. We don't work for him. We provide a service to protect him. Exactly. That's why I want you to talk, and I would like this to be told to Donald Trump. Tell him I'm a supporter of him. I love him. I don't hate him. I know what his issues are. He has an issue right now with him that's bugging him a lot. It's called Stormy Daniels, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it bugging him so much? Why is he lying to the people? Why does why is Donald lying to the people about Stormy? And how does that make you feel personally? I know the truth. I think it's a dummy situation. I think he should put his pants up and explain to the American people what the problem is. Stormy is was sent by Gerbos, Chubb, and Nardi. Okay, they know each other because I know Christopher's been talking to Gerbos for years. They've been doing my attorneys here, Mace Laura. They've been doing business. They've been getting referrals for years after I cut the deal with Diddy. They made friends and they've been doing deals. I understand how they threw me into the bed. Well, the poor conspiracy of something I had not done. I was claiming breach of stuff. Now, um, the way the story is, it works as a father. Donald has an issue. He's doctor prescribing Propecia. You know what Propecia is? It's the, uh, the skin or the hair. Hair growth thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? So basically what happens when you take Propecia, your dick goes limp. But lip because you're taking Propecia. Yeah, see, we take Follimer here. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Your boy's hair is looking a lot better. All natural. Follimer.com for that. He has air issues. The doctor birthday slipped the Propecia, okay? So for him, Stormy Story is bad news because it's embarrassing. That's why he's going crazy with that. It's not that he's lying to the American people. He's embarrassed about Stormy's situation, okay? He paid her, and she's coming back with some bullshit stories, okay? Trying to expose and defame the present Stormy. I guess this is to be continued. Um, but it is over, and that's my reaction. Now y'all know the truth. Um, smash the like, sign up for the email list for 20 sale coming up. Sign up for that email list so you can get on that pre sale. Get your tree, THCA at smoke.co. I'll see y'all next week. We'll do some more reactions to some other shit. Smokepipe.com. Peace. Smash like and subscribe. Peace.